Musk and SpaceX are going from strength to strength. The man with the dream of putting man on Mars has moved one step closer to his vision becoming a reality after this awesome news coming out of SpaceX. Since Starship's inaugural orbital flight test nearly four months ago, SpaceX has embarked on a relentless journey of innovation, transforming the rocket, rejuvenating the launch pad, and courageously navigating an environmental lawsuit, all in anticipation of its imminent second orbital venture. SpaceX has designated Booster 9 and Starship 25 for its upcoming second orbital flight test, or OFT. Since the initial flight, the SpaceX team has diligently executed over 1,000 adjustments to Starship, ushering in substantial changes to the thrust vector controls, staging protocols, liftoff procedures, and the flight termination system. In a pivotal move, Booster 9 will deploy electric thrust vector controls, supplanting the hydraulic system. The primary concern during the first flight was the cascade of Raptor engine malfunctions, with one glitch triggering another. Electric controls ensure enhanced engine isolation and autonomy. SpaceX is introducing a hot staging technique, where the upper stage engines will ignite before the booster engines shut down. This method ensures continuous thrust throughout the ascent, potentially elevating payload capacity by an impressive 10%. Additionally, SpaceX will bolster the booster's protection by incorporating enhanced shielding and a venting ring between the two stages. During the initial test flight, SpaceX gradually increased Raptor thrust on the launch pad, leading to a protracted 10-second liftoff. SpaceX intends to accelerate thrust more swiftly in the second test to prevent any pad damage. In a post-launch communication, Musk acknowledged that the recertification of the flight termination system, which took 40 seconds to terminate Starship after initiation, poses a significant challenge. SpaceX has undertaken testing of the upgraded FTS at the Massey Test Facility in Texas, yet there is no definitive timeline for certification at this point. Following the April test flight, the launch pad underwent extensive rehabilitation. The formidable power generated by Starship's colossal Raptor engines left a substantial imprint, causing concrete damage beneath the orbital launch mount and scattering rock and sand particles for miles. However, SpaceX has swiftly made remarkable progress in refurbishing the orbital launch mount, concrete foundations, tank farms, and quick disconnect arm. Notably, a substantial enhancement to the Stage Zero area was the recent installation of a water-cooled steel plate system. The steel plate positioned beneath the launch mount will expel water upward through a perforated surface. This water will intercept the flames generated by the 33 Raptor engines, absorbing their energy and effectively cooling the launch pad, thus safeguarding it against further damage. In the realm of rocketry, launching into space has never been without challenges, especially when it comes to preserving critical infrastructure like the launch pad given the immense power and energy required. While the quest for perfection continues, it is important to acknowledge that even with cutting-edge technology and seasoned experts, setbacks are part of the journey, as demonstrated during the Starship's maiden orbital endeavor in April 2023. The Raptor 2 engine, a highly complex full-flow stage combustion engine using a combination of liquid oxygen and liquid methane as fuel, is a testament to SpaceX's dedication to innovation and efficiency. Rigorous testing and optimization have resulted in a more compact, lightweight engine with enhanced performance, promising greater reliability for future missions. SpaceX's adaptability and versatility are evident in Starship's design, engineered to operate across a wide range of altitudes and velocities, suitable for diverse missions beyond lunar exploration. Indeed, Starship is envisioned as the cornerstone of SpaceX's ambitious goal to reach Mars. While the hardware seems ready for a second flight, there are still regulatory hoops to jump through. The Federal Aviation Administration is yet to complete its investigation report into the first Starship flight. Once that's done, they'll decide if it's safe for Starship to fly again based on available documentation. No specific timeline has been communicated by either SpaceX or the FAA. But SpaceX has started briefing Mariner safety boards about a potential flight on September 8th. It's worth noting that this date doesn't necessarily align with the FAA report and could be more of a hopeful placeholder for now. As for flight restrictions and resident notifications for the Boca Chica area are still pending, SpaceX will keep the community in the loop and an evacuation before the flight will be part of the plan. 
If all goes well and the launch site doesn't suffer too much damage after the second flight, we could see Ship 28 and Booster 10 making their moves quickly. These vehicles are already well into their build and testing campaigns. So, if the stars align, we might witness another Starship flight this year. It's important to note that the relationship between SpaceX and the FAA has been punctuated by a series of disagreements and complications over the years. SpaceX often embraces a move-fast philosophy. This approach has occasionally clashed with the FAA's more cautious regulations. The FAA, after all, has the paramount responsibility of ensuring the safety of all flights, whether with astronauts on board or not. To shed light on this with a recent example, in late 2020, SpaceX proceeded with a high-altitude test flight of Starship SN1, despite not securing the necessary approvals from the FAA. While SpaceX saw this as pushing the envelope of innovation, the FAA perceived it as a breach of safety protocols. This incident highlighted the inherent tension between SpaceX's ambitions and the FAA's safety imperatives. Given these past events, even though SpaceX may be gearing up for another Starship launch, it's not a given that the FAA will quickly greenlight the endeavor. And just last week, SpaceX sent 22 of their Starlink Internet satellites on a journey to orbit. The action unfolded at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station in Florida. Now here's the cool part, after sending those satellites on their way, the Falcon 9 rocket's first stage didn't call it a day. Nope, it came back to Earth as planned, touching down like a pro about 8.5 minutes after liftoff. It set down on the SpaceX drone ship known as a shortfall of Gravitas, stationed in the mighty Atlantic Ocean. What's even more impressive is that this particular booster has done this dance before, making this latest one its seventh launch and landing, according to SpaceX. The company's reuse record is held by two different Falcon 9 first stages, with an astounding 16 flights under their belts. So, how far away do you think we are from returning to the moon? Let me know in the comments, and as always, thanks for watching.